Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're taking a look at the Caracal F, and it's a 9mm pistol imported from the United Arab Emirates. It's a polymer framed pistol, much like the Glock in that it's striker fired, and again polymer framed, and it holds 18 rounds. Let's take a closer look at this pistol. The Caracal pistol started its development in 2002. In 2006, late 2006, early 2007, it actually went into production. Now between the period of 2002 and 2006, the pistol was undergoing a series of tests in Germany by a third party. Now the tests were probably the most rigorous tests, at least that's been said, that's ever been applied to any pistol in history. The pistol actually passed NATO tests and does have a NATO D14 approval. Now the pistol is made in two countries. It's made in the UAE and it's also made in Germany. Caracal, the company that manufactures this pistol, actually purchased Merkel, which is a German manufacturer of arms. They purchased Merkel and they also manufacture the pistol now in Germany. Now the pistols that are coming into the United States are actually manufactured in the UAE. The pistol has a number of unique features, but it also shares a number of features with popular pistols like the Glock and the M&P series of pistols. First of all, it has a safety on the trigger, much like the Glock. The polymer frame of the pistol looks very familiar if you're used to the Steyr M series of pistols. A gentleman by the name of Wilhelm Bubbitz, who actually worked for Steyr and designed the M series of pistols, went to work for Caracal and helped to design this pistol, so you'll see a very strong family resemblance between the two pistols. It uses a Browning style lockup system, which is also employed by the Glock and the M&P series of pistols, and it has a somewhat unique sight arrangement. It has similar sights to a, a straight eight arrangement, but you'll notice that the rear sight is actually part of the base plate or the back plate on the slide. So it gives you a very long sight radius, the longest you can possibly get. The only downside that I can find to this setup is the fact that if you want to replace these rear sights with tritium night sights, you're going to have to get them directly from Caracal because probably not too many people are going to make a unique sight rear plate like this has. Now the pistol also has an 18 round magazine and it has magazine release on either side of the pistol. The takedown lever is right here. You pull down on it, much like a Glock pistol, pull the trigger, and the slide comes off the frame. Now the only control that's not ambidextrous is the slide release. It only exists on the left-hand side of the pistol, but if you're used to cocking the pistol, as popular training methods show us these days, it's not really much of an issue. The center of bore sits really low on the pistol, so it has a very mild recoil impulse and it has a very light crisp trigger around five pounds. Now the Walther PPQ has the best striker fired pistol trigger I've ever encountered. This is pretty darn close. It's much better than a Glock factory trigger but it's not quite as crisp and as light as the Walther PPQ. The Caracal is coming into the country in three different models. Now I have two of the models here with me. This is the Caracal F. And this is the full-size pistol. It's roughly the same size as a Glock 17 or an M&P full-size 9mm. They're also bringing in the C model, which I have here, which is about the same size as a Glock 19. It's slightly smaller than the full-size pistol. You can see it's slightly shorter in the grip and also has a slightly shorter barrel and slide. The ergonomics of the C model are similar to the full-size model. It fits very nicely in the hand. You can see that my pinky doesn't drop off and it doesn't require a base plate that's extended for keeping my pinky on the pistol. Now, the other model that I mentioned, but I, I can't show you guys here today because I don't have one, I'm not even sure if it's coming in the country yet, is the SC model. So this is the C model, which is the compact. The super compact or SC model is even smaller than this one. Now, the recoil on the C model is a little bit more stout, but as you can see from the video, it doesn't really jump around that much more. It's very controllable, and it sets very nicely in the hand. It's very comfortable. I find it to be even more ergonomic than the G19 that I carry every day. Now, when you buy your Caracal pistol, it's going to come in a plastic box like you see here. These are not airline-approved boxes. They are flexible, but they are lockable, and they're fairly decent boxes. 
Now, inside the box, you're going to get a trigger lock and a spare magazine. So the pistol will come with two magazines. You also have your owner's manual tucked in up here. That's true for both pistols. Now, if you buy one of these pistols, you might have a problem with a holster. I found that, of course, you can go the custom route, like this Phantom holster from Raven. My friends over at Raven hooked me up with a Phantom, which works wonderfully with either the full-size F model or even the same holster with the C model. I like the Phantom holster. It's my daily carry holster. I use it with my G19. You can use it either outside the waistband or inside the waistband. They're great holsters. Now, if you don't want to go the custom holster route, you can also take a leather holster like this Galco for a Glock 17. And the Caracal will actually fit in the leather, leather holster. Now, it's a little bit snug, but if you get the holster wet and shape it to the pistol, it should work fine. Unfortunately, Kydex holsters and things like that that are meant for the Glock won't work too well with the Caracal. Let's take a look at the disassembly of the Caracal pistol. Now, to disassemble the pistol, first you're going to want to make sure that the weapon's unloaded and safe. You do that by locking the slide to the rear, dropping the magazine out, and taking a look inside, making sure that the pistol's empty. Now, you'll want to let the slide go home, pull the trigger in a safe direction, which will release the striker. Then right here, on both sides of the pistol, it's just a lever that you pull down, slightly pull back on the slide, pull down, and the pistol comes apart. Inside, again, you're going to find it's very similar to a Glock. The captured recoil spring and the barrel. Now notice a few things about the pistol. First of all, look at the large wide open spaces. A lot of area for debris to collect and keep it from fouling the pistol. Another thing that makes this pistol stand out against the Glock, for example, is the fact that it has steel rails that run quite a distance. The Glock has steel inserts in the front and aft and they're very small. This has a steel rail that runs pretty much a little over half the length of the pistol. That's done to keep the frame from flexing under recoil. It's a very rigid frame. To reassemble the pistol, you just reverse the order, drop the barrel in, put your recoil spring in, put the slide on the frame, drop to the rear, and it automatically locks itself in place. So final thoughts on the Caracal pistol. The Caracal pistol comes to market right around $500. I purchased this pistol from my friends over at 21st Century Firearms for a special promotional price of $449. If you'd like to buy one for that price, you can follow the link in the description below. This pistol competes nicely in the marketplace against other pistols in its class. Pistols such as the M&P 9mm, the Glock, or even the XD. It's a full featured polymer framed striker fired pistol that I like the ergonomics of and I think it's a very high quality pistol. It feels nice in the hand, it shoots nice, has great recoil. Overall, it's a very nice shooting pistol. If you guys have any questions about this pistol, swing by our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. Thanks everybody for watching, thanks for those subs, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Well guys, we're having some fun with the Caracal pistol. Try another magazine here real quick before my fingers fall off. No. All right. Let's stick another magazine in there after sloshing the gun around in the water. Not locking open, but we got it working just by dunking it in the water. <laughs> 